Jamaicans love food and holidays are oftentimes spent consuming a bit more food than we really should. The ham, the chicken, the curry goat, the pork, the potato salad, the Christmas cake and sorrel are some of the favorites at Christmas time. But what happens when we eat this food? Where does it go? What organs are involved? In today's lesson, we look at a process that is essential for human life, digestion. I'm Calvin Brown and welcome to the Jamaican Science Teacher. But wait, but wait! There's a special guest to teach with me today. She is Miss Elvis Salter, science teacher and YouTuber. The link to her channel is in the description below. I wanna learn science, but I don't know where to go. I just click to YouTube and this is what the results show me. The Jamaican science teacher. 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 Yeah. Have you ever wondered what happened to that big piece of chicken leg, that piece of ham that you just had for Christmas dinner? Can your body use this chicken leg in that big form? No! Your food has to be broken down into simpler soluble molecules. This process is called digestion. Digestion is a process by which larger food substances are broken down into simple, soluble molecules that can be absorbed by the body. There are two types of digestion, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. In mechanical digestion, large food particles are broken down into smaller pieces by physical action. Mechanical digestion begins in the mouth where teeth are used to tear, grind, and crush food. This process is called mastication. Also, in the stomach, the stomach walls churn and churn and churn. That's also an example of mechanical digestion. This churning action turns the food into a liquid called chyme. Mechanical digestion is important because it increases the surface area of the food so that digestive enzymes can work quicker and easier. Speaking of digestive enzymes, this brings us to the other type of digestion, chemical digestion. Chemical digestion is a process by which large insoluble food molecules are broken down into smaller soluble molecules with the aid of enzymes. An enzyme is a biological catalyst that speeds up the rate of a reaction. Chemical digestion begins in the mouth, continues in the stomach, and is completed in the small intestine. In the mouth, the enzyme salivary amylase is used to break down starch into maltose. Salivary amylase is secreted by the salivary glands. Chemical digestion continues in the stomach, where the cells in the stomach wall secrete gastric juice, which contains hydrochloric acid, pepsin, and renin. Hydrochloric acid provides the optimum pH for pepsin and renin to work. It also kills bacteria. The enzyme pepsin speeds up the breakdown of protein into peptides, which are shorter chains of amino acids. The enzyme renin coagulates milk in infants. Now we're in the small intestine. You're not left on video for me. I think you call me over here for teach. Alright, we're going over my channel. Please subscribe to LV's World. Bye. Now we continue with chemical digestion in the small intestine. We have an organ known as the liver, which produces a substance known as bile, which is stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder secretes this bile into the small intestine. Bile contains bile salts, which are used to emulsify fat. What does that mean? It means large fat droplets are broken down into smaller droplets 
so that the surface area can be increased for enzymes to work. The pancreas also participates in chemical digestion by producing pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice contains sodium bicarbonate as well as enzymes. Sodium bicarbonate changes the pH of the food at this point to about 7 or 8 in that range. This is the optimum pH for the enzymes produced in the pancreas. Now what are these enzymes? We look at pancreatic amylase. Now remember in the mouth we know there is salivary amylase which breaks down starch into maltose. There is also pancreatic amylase. This continues the breakdown of starch into maltose. The enzyme trypsin is also a component of pancreatic juice. The function of trypsin is to continue the breakdown of protein into peptides. The enzyme lipase catalyzes the breakdown of lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. The cells of the small intestine also secrete intestinal juice. Intestinal juice contains several enzymes which complete the process of digestion. Maltase breaks down maltose into glucose. Sucrase breaks down sucrose into glucose and fructose. Lactase breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. Peptidase completes the breakdown of proteins by breaking down the peptides into amino acids. So we've looked at mechanical and chemical digestion. But how do these two types of digestion come together? Now we look at the digestive system. Digestion begins in the mouth, as we have said before. Chemical and mechanical digestion begin in the mouth. Our teeth break down food through physical action and amylase starts the breakdown of starch into maltose. The tongue rolls the food that has been chewed into a ball called the bolus. Bolus moves down our esophagus and enters our stomach. In our stomach, the food stays for about three or four hours time. Through the action of enzymes, as well as the churning action of the stomach, food is turned into a liquid called chyme. This chyme is then released into the first part of the small intestine, which is called the duodenum. This is the part in which the pancreas and the liver will secrete their juices. After passing through the duodenum, food reaches the ileum, this part of the small intestine absorbs the nutrients from our food. So the products of digestion after the action of all the enzymes are absorbed into our bloodstream in the ileum. Any food that is not digested in the small intestine moves on to the large intestine where water and minerals are absorbed from it. As the food passes through the large intestine, it gets harder as more water is being absorbed. The part of the large intestine that does the absorption is known as the colon. After leaving the colon, the undigested food enters the rectum where it is stored before ejection. Ejection is the process by which undigested food is removed from the body. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what you're thinking about. That process when you go to the bathroom. That's ejection. All these parts mentioned constitute the alimentary canal. This is the path that food takes from our mouth to our anus where it exits the body. So it starts in the mouth, moves on to our esophagus, goes through our stomach, goes into our small intestine and into our large intestine. These organs collectively are known as the alimentary canal. Food moves through the alimentary canal by peristalsis. Peristalsis is a series of wave-like muscle contractions that moves food through the alimentary canal. So this process of digestion is vital for you and me. It's essential. This is how our bodies get the substances we need to grow, to work, to live. It is all through this process of digestion. Our proteins are broken down into amino acids, which our body is going to use for growth and repair. 
our carbohydrates are broken down into monosaccharides, which our bodies are going to use for energy. The excess will be stored as fat. The lipids in our diet are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol. Our body is going to use these to create cell membranes as well as to store for insulation and they're also used as a source of energy. This process by which all these substances we obtain from our diet are used by the body is known as assimilation. So that is it for digestion, a process which is vital for you and vital for me, vital for everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and Miss Salta today. Remember to subscribe to her channel. The link is below in the description. Remember to subscribe to my channel also and keep watching and keep supporting. Thank you for being a part of the Jamaican Science Teacher family. Bye. I wanna learn science, but I don't know where to go. I just click to YouTube and this is what the results show me. The Jamaican Science Teacher. 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 Yeah.